if you haven't already got a robot vacuum cleaner, you're missing out. If there's one gadget that I think everybody should own, it is a robot vacuum cleaner. And I've said time and time again that although I was initially skeptical, ever since testing my first robot vacuum cleaner over two years ago, I've been a huge convert to the technology. And Ecovacs, the guys who made this, were the first to introduce me to it. Now, since then, the guys over at Ecovacs have released better and better robots whilst continually reducing the price for consumers. They now sell a huge variety of models, all at different price ranges, making it extremely accessible for people with any kind of budget. And just a few months ago, they released the N10, which I think could be their best option while still providing unbelievable specs at an incredible price. Design-wise, it's not too dissimilar to what we've seen before in the N8 that I reviewed last year. It's got that classic round aesthetic with a large impact sensor on the front. On the top, it has the LiDAR sensor, which uses Ecovax's new True Mapping 2.0 system, which is a big upgrade from the first gen in the N8. Now, in terms of numbers, the True Mapping 2.0 system gives the N10 twice the coverage of models that use the older system, and it also provides four times the accuracy, which is insane. Naturally, this system is used to map your house and to help it avoid areas like stairs or regions that you can set within the app. But the real party trick is this extended accuracy means that it can avoid objects like shoes or toys or anything that really has been left lying around where it shouldn't be. And even pinpoints objects that it recognizes on the map after cleaning so that it can send you a notification to recommend tidying up your mess. It's sort of like having my mother living with me all over again. Sorry, Mum. Look at how well it deals with obstacles like glasses of full beer or shoes with laces all over the place or even a man that you've just abducted and left on your kitchen floor whilst you go and find a chainsaw. <coughs> When you look at the cleaning map that it provides you with afterwards, you can see how it's gone around all of these obstacles without causing any disruption. And thankfully, it means that it completely avoided disturbing any potential evidence. But jokes aside, you can actually see how much faith I have in the system that I'd place a full glass of beer on the floor as a test and it didn't let me down. This detection system is truly remarkable. You can see it simply just skirts around this stuff. But of course, its usefulness hinges on its cleaning capabilities. Now, underneath the N10, it has the typical dual side brush and the main large floating brush setup, which is pretty standard for most robot vacuums. But this large brush can be removed, which aids in picking up slightly larger debris. And if you have dogs, particularly like mine with long hair, removing the brush can help you pick up all the lovely large balls of hair. Now, there's actually a new addition here in that the brush can indeed be removed, but they're also developing a dedicated brush that works with the N10, which is entirely rubber and is designed specifically to help with pet hair so that it picks it up better and is less susceptible to getting tangled. So a huge round of applause here for Ecovax for this simple yet effective new piece of kit, which was long overdue. Hopefully we'll see it made available real soon and I'll be giving it a good test when it does. But what also helps with this model is that it's almost double the suction power of the earlier models at 4,300 pascals of suction, whatever a pascal is. Compare that to the 2,300 in the N8. That's a huge increase and will make a big difference to the overall cleanliness of your floor simply because it can pick up a lot more. So let's do a little vacuum test to demonstrate this. Now I set it off to pick up a variety of different messes like cereal or sugar or even things as large and as dense as heavy little human teeth. Like all of Ecovacs robot vacuums, the cleaning is exemplary and it's one of the main reasons why I'm a huge convert to this technology. With the added power of the N10, I just think it's an absolutely fantastic new addition to the lineup. And also the thing is, it's capable of mopping your floors as well with a detachable mop. Putting the mop back on, it actually features a large reservoir on the back to disperse water from the sizable mopping attachment. 
that you essentially see on the underside of the device. Now, what this means is that it will go around sweeping and vacuuming in front of it and then goes over the area with the mop behind it for a full deep clean. And it really works actually remarkably well, even at things like mopping up blood. I, I mean, wine. And it does a remarkable job of making sure your floors are squeaky clean. Now, there's one common criticism that I have about the mopping function, which currently none of the Ecovacs robot vacuums have solved, in that when they're in the mode that both vacuums and mops, they won't go on to carpet. Now, on one hand, this is excellent. The N10 features a detection system to understand what type of floor it's on and to avoid any carpeted areas when mopping, meaning that you aren't gonna get your priceless Moroccan rug destroyed by the robot trying to mop it. Now, this is actually a really incredible feat of engineering here. And for me, it's not an issue because 95% of the downstairs of my house is solid hard stone floors with only a very small section in the living room covered by carpet. But for those that might have different or multiple types of floors within the house, perhaps lino in the kitchen, stone in the corridor, wood in the corridor, carpet in the living room, it does mean an extra step in that you have to remove the mop before it will vacuum carpets and rugs, which could get a little tedious. But I guess that this is a small price to pay for having a house that is always clean for very, very little on your behalf. It might be nice one day to see Ecovacs release a model that can actually remove its own mop or perhaps lift the mop out of the way so that it can clean the carpet. But to my knowledge, this currently doesn't exist from any manufacturer. But I wouldn't be surprised if Ecovacs are among the first to do this or at least the first to make it good value. But either way, this is perhaps the only small consideration you need to think about when buying a robot vacuum like the M10. Actually, do you know what? I'd be really interested to hear what type of floor you guys have. Do you have mixed floors? Do you have stone floors, wood floors, carpet? Do you have rugs? Do let me know in the comments below because then I can tailor future tests to whatever type of floor majority you guys have. Because if you all have carpets, there's no point in me showing you just on stone. So please take the time, pop to the comments and let me know what type of floors you guys have or what type of floors you'd be using a robot vacuum on. Then perhaps the next test might be even more relevant for you. Anyway, back to the point. The N10 is without a doubt an absolutely incredible addition to the Ecovacs lineup in terms of spec, but perhaps the best thing about it is its price. Now, at the RRP, it sits at $499, but you can often get it for much cheaper looking at the price history. Currently, as an exclusive deal for the Amazon Prime Discount Fest, or whatever they're calling it these days, you can actually get this for £259, which is truly unbelievable. And I actually can't believe how much technology you're getting for that price. It performs superbly well and has an unbelievable amount of high-end features, for a piece of technology in this price bracket. So for me, certainly at this price, it pretty much takes the crown as the best value robot vacuum cleaner out there. But just because it has a crown does not make it the king. There is one other, and I've got to mention it because for me, it still wears the crown of the king and that is the Ecovacs Omni X1. This is the ultimate king of all robot vacuum cleaners, and so it should be, given that it's Ecovacs' most premium offering. Obviously, because of that, it's also the most premium price, but I'll talk about that later on, because let me tell you right now, when I originally started using it, it blew me away, and now so many months later, it still sits high on my list for one of the best smart home gadgets that I've ever reviewed. It has most of the same features and innovations of that of the N10 and certainly in respect to the design of the robot itself. From the top it looks very very similar indeed. The same LiDAR module with TrueMapping 2.0 although this has slightly more advanced AI VI which is the onboard artificial intelligence visual interpretation which on the, on the Omni X1 can actually help you render 3D images of your house. But it also has the same classic round design with the impact sensor on the front. But when we flip it over, that's when this thing shows its true colors. 
For starters, there's even more Pascals inside this one at 5,200, which is over 20% better. So it will clean your floors even more efficiently. But along with this, the most notable difference on the underside is the ginormous rotating mop heads that are capable of spinning around at a rate of 180 times per minute to scrub your floors literally squeaky clean. And not only this, but when it gets back to the docking station, which also works as an auto-empty station too, it washes the mops and then dries them with hot air so they don't become festering and it helps get rid of the evidence. I'm sorry, the, it gets rid of the smell that essentially damp mops will often come with after just a few weeks of use. Now, seriously, I cannot tell you how good this is. I've had the mop heads on now for several months and they're in incredible condition and not a single bad odor is coming from them. And that's down to the quick drying function of this base station. This is absolutely groundbreaking. And from my knowledge, was one of the first robot vacuums to ever have this ability to self-clean and self-dry. Now, forgetting this amazing drying functionality, this empty station has been an absolute godsend when it comes to the ease of use on a daily basis. With devices like the N10, the receptacle inside here can fill up very, very quick, certainly over a few days, whereas the X1, because it empties itself into a larger bag within the base unit, it can go months without worrying about changing anything or emptying anything into the bin. And it's the same with the water too. There's two huge five litre tanks in the top, one for clean water and one for the disgusting dirty bog water that it brings up off the floor, which is horrendously gross. And seriously, I can't believe how much dirt it actually picks up that you can't see by just looking at the floor. If anything, this cleans my floor far better than I could. But the point is, these large reservoirs within the base unit means that I can go weeks without having to even worry about the water. And it's one of the biggest reasons why the X1 gets the rosette of excellence from me, because it really is all singing, all dancing, and it's nearly as good as, if not better, than actually hiring someone to come and do your floors for you once a week, except this can do it each morning and cost me absolutely nothing instead of an hourly rate of a cleaner, which, looking at the average local rates, is probably around £11, £12 pound per hour. Evidently, with this massively upgraded experience comes a rather upgraded price. But hold the phone, because if this is your kind of thing, then there's never been a better time to buy one. Because like the N10, there's some huge sales for the Amazon Prime Festival, which means that it's currently on sale from its rather astronomical £1,499, down to a price of just 799 which is a stupidly large saving of 700 quid. Now, I realise that this is still a large amount to pay for a robot vacuum, but for those that want the absolute best possible experience and creme de la creme, then the Omni X1 is definitely the right option to go for. But would the N10 make me happy on its own? Well, yes, absolutely. The N10 is phenomenal value. And for those who are new to having a robot vacuum, I think it's likely my go-to recommendation. But if you have a little bit more flexibility in your budget, I still wholeheartedly swear by the Omni X1. Now, if you do want to take a look at either the N10 or the Omni X1, go and take a look at the links that I will drop at the top of the description below. And like I said, at the time of this review, there's some incredible discounts going on. So now has never been a better time to buy a robot vacuum cleaner. And believe me, when you do, and you find out how incredible having one actually is, I want you to come back to the comments and thank me, because you will. Now, if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe to see more. And if you want to check out any of my other episodes on EcoVats products, I'll link them all in the description as well so you can take a look. And thank you very much for joining, guys, in today's episode. I'll see you back for another episode of Stu's Reviews soon.